and they think they can get over me as a female but what i'm about to start doing at this point they don't want me to talk about it no more at this point my phone does not want me to talk about this anymore because my phone keeps sliding i think god said it's done he said it's handled leave it alone because she want to sit right underneath me this is my braid out and then i hit the top with my hot comb um yeah so today is wednesday which is typically the start of my week um i'm getting ready to go to the shop preparing for some stuff um i'm gonna bring you guys along with me show you some of the stuff that i'm working on in the shop but uh, i just want to show you guys like my pretty braid out only thing i put in it was water um, and I braided it in two braids and I slept in it and then um, I took it out this morning hot combed the roots and now your girl is cute yes you want to say hi something come it's a baby boy shake good morning good morning shake good morning mama baby good morning so we're about to get out I'm about to go check the mailbox got some orders that's coming in um, I need to prepare, get shipped out, got a few clients today, and then, like I said, I'm going to um, do a few things around the shop, preparing for our new stylist who will be in the shop that will make nine of us, eight of us in total, eight of us in total. We're still hiring one more position. Um, oh, my lips are going to dry. So, yeah, let me get my day started because it is late, and I don't know why my fireplace keeps changing colors. I don't know who changed my thingy, but I don't want it to change color. I want it to be one color. Um, but, yeah. Hey guys, we about to get the day started, so I will see you guys later, yeah. So this is not a get ready with me. I just want to show you guys how I achieved this braid down, which is pretty much my everyday wear. And of course, I am using my Crowns for Queens hot comb to make sure that I have no flyaways. My hair is laid and slayed. You can get yours today at crownsforqueens.com, so make sure you go ahead and shop with us. Here, I am just showing you guys how I am preparing this room for our new stylist. It is literally a mess, as you can see. I'm spackling the walls, covering up some holes, getting everything together. Um, and pretty much in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing this. Um, in this part here, I'm closing up some gaps that are visible on the door frame, which I do not want to be visible. So that's what i'm doing here um and i'm you know just bringing you guys along so you guys can see the hardship of an entrepreneur when you have to do things like this on your own um cleaning up and redecorating and reconstructing because you know that's what you sign up for when you become a business owner and that's just the truth so i'm just showing you guys the good and the bad and everything in between welcome back to my channel today is another day um i'm actually getting ready to go to the shop I'm going to unbraid my hair just because I'm getting ready to go out. I got to go run a few errands. I'm going to take you guys with me. I just got to go pick up my Balenciagas from the shoe repair place because I broke them over the summer. And then I got to go to Lowe's to get the paint so we can finish that room in the shop today. And then I have to go to Target later to buy stuff that I need for myself. So... I'm only gonna unbraid it because I don't want to walk around outside looking like this. They're gonna be like, "Who done did it?" And then I, what I'm wearing already. Sorry, Celine. So I got on an Adidas shirt with my little sports bra and my little gray um, biker shorts with some gray um, Nikes. I just realized I got Nike shoes on with Adidas shirt. But hey, I'm getting ready to go paint. I kind of don't want to wear these shoes because these are my good. These are ah, come on, I want to step on you. These are um, Prestos. And these are like my favorite pair of Nike shoes like to work out in and stuff. And I'm gonna be painting that room white today. So I kind of don't want to get anything on my shoes. Um, but I don't have any of the gray shoes that can match with this. I could put on my black Adidas, but the black is gonna throw off the whole little gray vibe I got going on. But I might bring them to paint in when I get there. That might be what I'm gonna do. But 
let's go get this day started. Celine is like standing right next to my feet. I can't even move. So obviously she wants to say good morning. Say good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, good morning. She needs to wash her face, but we'll worry about that another day. Um, now let me get out the house because it is 12, pretty much 1230. Um, and I got to go do all of this and paint that room and do everything by today. So if you guys want to see me redo this room all by myself, them patch walls, everything, like who, who needs a man? Handy, handy. car tripod and I got it from my camera but I really don't want to like hook this thing up in my car and look like an uber driver so I kind of just got it sitting on my dashboard um and I got like mad freaking thingies or whatever but this is my little vlogging camera and I'm just recording off my phone right now because this, I ain't really got nothing to say I'm just saying what I'm about to say so what I'm saying is I need my lashes done but I go on Monday so I don't know if I already said that in this vlog but this one is this eye is struggling but um what was I about to say oh so what i'm saying right now is the reason why i had to do all of that construction stuff at the shop by myself is because i literally spent tens tons however you say the phrase tons of thousands of dollars on the last construction that i just did on the shop and that particular room was left undone without me like really knowing because the, the guy who's supposed to do it, it's just a lot that happened in that whole situation but if you if you guys want to like if you want me to do like a story time talking about my construction disaster trust me i'm ready whenever you are um because it, it was just it was given a lot but long story short i had to stop the construction in the middle and whatever was done was done but the problem is is that i spent i spent a lot of money on that free construction but more so i spent so much money on materials and so much stuff that it was just like the job just was not being done right and i had to stop the construction um and like i said that it was so much stuff that i me my dad like i had to finish up on my own because i just no longer trusted them in my space so that room the wall was like halfway done not even patched up as you can see i had to go to the store and buy like the um the drywall stuff to slack to pack the wall up i was in there freaking sanding my hair was full of freaking sand i had to wash my hair um all this crazy stuff that i should not have to do but honestly i just didn't have enough time to find another contractor um because you know I have, i'm hiring someone new and then on top of that i really just don't trust nobody and i don't even trust nobody else's judgment because the person that i had hired was a recommendation um and the guy who recommended the he's a general contractor and he recommended one of his workers and this happened it's just a lot that happened but the moral of the story is is that i had to do it myself because i only had two days to get that room right for um the new girl who's starting and i already spent thousands of dollars and i'm about to spend more money for someone to come in and not do what was supposed to be done um and i trust myself i'm gonna be oh i'm gonna be completely honest 
the wall should look a thousand times better for the price that I paid. I did what I can do. I think it looks really good for somebody who um, doesn't know what they're doing. Um, but I'm just very just disappointed in the contractors and the, I'm just disappointed. But I'm happy that I got that room done and I am getting ready to show you guys what it looks like. I'm getting ready to stop at home real quick. Um, freshen up, feed Celine, um, and then I'm gonna head to the shop so this way I can let our new stylist in so she can set up her stuff. And I also need to stop at Lowe's so I can make key copies and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but I just want to explain to you guys why I was the one who was doing it and why I didn't hire someone. And one, because of time frame. Two, because I just don't trust anybody. I'm sick and tired of these people taking all my money and not doing what the fuck they're supposed to do because I'm a girl and they think they can get over me as a female. But what I'm about to start doing, at this point, they don't want me to talk about it anymore. At this point, my phone does not want me to talk about this anymore because my phone keeps sliding. I think God said it's done. He said it's handled. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. You know how when you need your eyelashes done, every fucking thing just be hurting, just make you want to fucking pick at them shits? Whatever. But, yeah, I'm just so grateful for the type of woman that I am. For me being able to do what I do, because I do it very well. Um, and most people, if they was in my situation, they was in my, if he was in my shoes, however the phrase go, you would have been crumbled, folded, all of that. Whatever the situation is, you would not have been able to make it, baby. What are y'all doing? If you can't drive, just say that. Here you see me helping our new esthetician move into her suite. And I'm going to tag all the stylists that work at the shop down below. But in this room, you can see I put up the baseboards and painted that room all by myself. Um, here I'm going to show you guys how I made the curtains to go up in that room. Um, I have had experiences before with buying curtains and they just have not worked for the size of the windows that we have in the shop. We literally have floor to ceiling windows, which is about like 10 foot tall. So it just doesn't work for me to buy curtains. I, I prefer to make my own. So I went to Joanne Fabric, got some fabric, and I'm just pretty much making the curtains. Um, I make wigs on sewing machines, so this was pretty much nothing. This was easy peasy for me. So after making the curtains, I put them up, and then I did realize that for the look that I wanted to give, it would look so much better if I had two sleeves instead of one. So tomorrow, I'm going to go back to the fabric store and make another um, curtain sleeve so this way it can complete the look that I wanted to give. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.